You do another episode of Retro Rage Play. This show where you may ask, why would you ever subject yourself to such crazy, horrible, insanely rage-inducing games? And I tell you, it's just another day in the office. Being that it is November and considered Zelda month in the gaming community, I decided to go ahead and test the waters with some of the crazier Zelda games within the franchise. My buddy Abba, the Lazy Bum Gamer, actually suggested to me a few weeks ago that I play Zelda 1 on this show. Personally, to me, Zelda 1 doesn't really have too much rage in it. I mean, it does near the end, don't get me wrong, there's plenty to rage about in that game. But I've been it so many times and things like that where I don't really find it um, very ragey overall. However, that doesn't mean that there aren't rage-inducing Zelda games. And for many of you that are familiar with the series, you probably recognize the title of today's episode as one of those that is just like, Oh my god, he's gonna do it! Holy crap, he's gonna do it! So I present to you a Zelda game that turned the franchise on its head. Mind you, it was only the second game in the Zelda franchise, and for that to be that drastic a change from 1 to 2 and then never, never to go back to the number 2 format kind of tells you something. So, you ready for this? Oh gosh, I am. Crazy transition! Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link. Yeah, this is like the official sequel to the first Zelda game, and it, it's a doozy. I'm telling you that, it's a doozy. So, published by Nintendo, released in 1987 uh, for the Nintendo Entertainment System, this is a side scrolling action RPG game. Yeah, much different than the third, uh, from the top down perspective of. Uh, adventure game of the first one. You're pretty much going to be getting a bit of a story here. So, after Ganon was destroyed, April told Link a sleeping spell was cast on Princess Zelda. She will wake only with the power of the number three Triforce sealed in a palace in Hyrule. To break the sealed crystal, the crystals must be placed in statues in six well-guarded palaces. Link set out on his most awesome uh, adventure awesome... What? I'm going to have to see that when it scrolls back up. That was a really weird word at the end there. But yes, ideally speaking, this takes place a few years after the events of Zelda 1. Link notices on his hand that he has the symbol of the Triforce of Courage. He talks to Impa, and Impa tells him that Zelda is in a deep sleep. This is a different Zelda than the first game, by the way. Much different Zelda. Don't know how there are two Zeldas in this one land. I guess it's a common name here in Hyrule. But it's a different Zelda, and Link must go to these different palaces, place crystals in these stone statues in order to release the lock of the Great Palace? Think of what it is? Yeah, the Great Palace, and in order to go in and claim the Triforce of Courage. Meanwhile, Ganon's forces are scoping the land for Link because they believe that if they kill Link and spread his blood on Ganon's ashes, yes, this is the story, they could resurrect their master. So that's what brings it in. What does it say? Adventure the oh, his most adventuresome quest yet. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Congratulations, why not? How does Retro Rage Play work? Well, below me you will be seeing a uh, clock that should appear at some point. Let me just make sure I can get this thing going. Oh, I think I have it in right now. You guys probably saw a little before me because of the delay and whatnot. But ideally speaking, I will be playing for... Uh, normally I've said two hours, but I feel like a proper Rage game should be able to flip me out in less than an hour. So we're only going to play for about an hour now. Or until this game really does flip me out to the point where I just say, screw it, I'm done with it. And then, at the end of it all, we'll see how far I am, I'll give you my final opinions, and if you at home want to play, by all means, go nuts! You can find this game, the virtual console, on the Nintendo, you can emulate it every other place, you know, just play at your own discretion, because it is a weird, weird, weird game. Ready? Here we go! Let's start this up. I, I am brand new to the starting points on this. Um, there we go. Let's... Just call ourselves Link for the heck of it, because that is his name. There we go, we are Link. We have level 1 attack, level 1 magic, and level 1 health. Yes, that is where you get your RPG mat yeah, abilities from. So we can walk back and forth in typical side-scrolling ability. We do have a jump, and we do have a strike. 
As long as our health is full, we can shoot a little laser, so at least they brought that back. But otherwise, that, that's pretty much uh, Link's defense. Uh, we don't have anything here at all. Shows how many lives we have, shows how many crystals that we have, which is the sixth, and it shows how many keys we have, which is zero. I didn't even start the timer. Let's start the timer now, shall we? There's nothing that can kill me here, so that was just kind of in the intro. Now, let's go! Oh, look at this! Look at the overworld! So Link can move freely uh, around uh, the overworld. Certain things will slow him down, so like if he's walking through a forest or uh, the grass area, he will move a little bit slower. But ideally, what we need to do is... Let's see about getting to that. Yeah, those things that you see on the map are enemies, and if they hit Link, then he will go ahead and get to do something like this. So, this is kind of a little battle section of sorts. Oh, jeez. And as I kill things, I earn experience. Mostly these, uh, those... Oh, get away! Wow, that was close. Those little spider things up there are what are giving me two experiences. These moblin guys aren't giving me anything. And, uh, that's... This is pretty much how it works. This is how Zelda 2 plays. So, if you're used to Zelda 1, then, uh, you're gonna be kind of weirded out by this one. I think there's actually a candle that I should be able to get first. So, hold on. Where, where am I gonna go? Yep, this is like, oh, you jerk, ow! You gonna fly back at me again? Yes, you are. Stupid. Hey, come here! Ow! Oh yeah, this is this is already starting off wonderful. How much experience do you give me? Three. All right, move along. Uh, points. That's a level. There you go. So if you look in the upper right corner-ish or whatever, you can see next, and that shows when Link will go up, and it pretty much shows you what you'll be learning. So I'll have life will go up now. Then magic will go up, and then attack will go up. So, I guess with life going up, that just means I can take more hits and all things along that way. So, next level is 100 points from now. Okay, so I want to go into here first. Because I'm pretty sure there's an item in here. There's also some body in here. Oh, there's bats. Oh, God. This, yeah? Yeah? Okay. Oh, boy. Yeah, there it is. Go. Go! No! Oh! oh, man. Oh, oh! He's throwing boomerangs at me. Can I just get him in the corner and just, like, wail on him? There we are. Okay, good. So I got this statue. I don't really know what that statue does, but I have that statue. Alright, so I'm gonna try going through this little tunnel thingy thing again in the, uh, the theory that maybe there's something here that I can use. Hello? Ow! What the hell? Ugh. Anything? Hello? Oh, wow! Alright, okay, that was easy. Maybe I should've just did that for- No, 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 get away, get away! Alright, so this is our first palace. This is level one, per se. Um, are you gonna give me anything? Because sometimes they drop, uh, vials of either a magic refill, I think some of them are even a life refill, but... Let's go ahead and see what we can find here. Uh, we'll go this way. Can you guys give me any point? Nope. But those guys actually take away points of experience if they hit me and kill me. Much easier to do this with the laser sword, mainly because it can go right through them, no problem. Yeah, take that. Alright, what's in this here? All these little blobby thingies! What are you doing? Come on, get, 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 yeah. We're gonna go this way. Stalfo! Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, get, get, get away! Shoot! 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 He definitely was, like, aiming at my head, but, uh, that's no problem, because apparently I was able to, uh, avoid it and whatnot. Uh, oh my god, they take away ten points of experience if they hit me. Bastards! That thing right there actually will give me experience if I kill it, so let me just keep swiping at it a lot over and over and over and over and over and over again. Go, go, go! Okay, apparently I was wrong. Apparently it just doesn't want to die, and I'm losing more experience trying to kill it than I am actually doing any damage and whatnot, so I say screw it. Get away! Shoot! Shoot! Oh, boy. What's over here that is probably going to kill me and end my life? Oh, no! Get, get, get! Run! Run! I would have been able to level up by now if it wasn't for these things. Will I gain full health? Yes? Uh, magic go up. That's great. Please? No. Oh no! That's, uh, that's not a good thing. That's not- Oh! Yes! Thank you, Miss Fairy! Oh my god, that was close! So... I think it's... 
I don't know if I'm gonna be- Ooh, whoa, ooh, hi! Hi! Oh, man, okay. Uh, it's like the Legend of Zelda version of a Hammer Brother. Um, I'm gonna do this without taking any damage. I'm not gonna do this without taking any damage, am I? Oop, go! Just go! Wow, he takes a lot of damage! He takes a lot of health away from me! Holy crap! Get him! Get him into the corner! Get it! Ah, nice! Fit. Cool! Oh, it's an iron... I think these things are iron knuckles. Oh, crap! It's like you have to hit them wherever the shield is it, but then you have to put your shield wherever, um, their sword is in order to block. Oh, God, and I turned around because my controller decided that it wanted me to turn around. And we have a game over. So whenever you game over, it does save your stats, so I'm still a level 2 life, level 2 magic. It takes away all my experience that I've earned up until that point, and it drops you off at the area where Princess Zelda was asleep. So, one of the most annoying parts of this is you get so far into here, and then all of a sudden, a really cheap section occurs, and boom, you're right back in the very, very beginning. And that is just ridiculous. Where are we, by the way? What, what place is this? Uh, welcome to... Raru, isn't that one of that's that's one of the sages because that's what these are. These towns are all named after sages. Hey, what did you have to say? Talk with my father before you leave town. Okay, why don't we go talk to the old man? This is okay. So this should be where I learned my first spell. What do you have to say? Anything else? Each town has a wise man. Learn from him. Yeah. So these are the guys that you learn your spells from, and they're either just directly given to you. You have to do like a little search and find in order to find them. Or you have to do a side quest in order to be able to learn them. So, use this magic to survive. What does he give me? Okay. Shield! See? There you go. I figured that this was uh, what it is that I learned. I have two keys on me? Oh, that's, that's astounding. That means I don't have to worry about getting them back in the dungeon. Get candle in Parappa the Rappa Palace. Go west. Okay. Let's go see what this town is. You are... Town of Bruno! Hey, now the sage, I love it! Are you just going to heal me? I think you just heal me. No, you don't heal me! We can actually go into here. And we can go down here. Oh, maybe I learned a second spell already. Oh, that'd be awesome! Sure, hey, old man, what do you got? With this, you can jump very high! Look at this, he gives me jump! High jump already, very good! So we get jump, and we get shield. Sweet! down over here. Anything important? Oh, Bubbles. Bubbles hurt. Why do these bubbles hurt? And what even sucks more is that Link can't swim. So if you fall into any one of those pits, guess who just has died instantly. Oh gosh, go, 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 go. What's in here? Oh no, I ran into the big guy. Um, what's in this? Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, there's a lot of guys. There's a lot of crazy guys here. Oh crap, 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 crap. Ow. Oh, jeez. What's here? Hello? Hello, things that are here. I want... What's here? No. Go the other way. Is it a heart? It's a heart container. Nice. So now I have just, ow, increased my own health, and I can kill you because you're a jerk. Oh my god, that was crazy. So there are a few heart containers that are spread around the world as well. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't remember that there at all. Mainly because probably I've done this section with the bubbles a gajillion times and always died. But if I run fast, like I've been learning to do in Mario Maker, I can beat things! Yay! Boop! Boop, boop! Anything? Nope, 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 bad guys, get away, get away, get away, get away! Shoo, shoo, back off! Back off, you jerks. I'm gonna stand right here, and I'm gonna wait. Because sometimes fairies appear on... Nah, screw it. They appear on the, uh, the main map, the overworld map, and then you can just run into the fairy, and there's a fairy, and she'll fully heal you. And I would have liked to have gone into this with full health, but that's okay. We're now gonna go over here, and we're gonna avoid all this other crap that happens to be in our way. Another style file. Okay, this guy should actually level me up. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. And, okay, so now life will go up again. So I'm guessing then I take less uh, or less damage or I'm able to take more hits. But now at 200 experience, I will earn an attack up. So that will be pretty much my next goal is to get an attack up. Because 
And my sword, I think my sword only goes to level... Alright, so you're there. I'm, I'm not going to worry about you. I'm going to leave you there and probably go back to you later if I need be. Um, I want to say the sword goes up to, like, level 7 or so. Ah, Link, stop turning around! Yeah, push him back. Push him back. Way back. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Get up. Oh, come on! Ugh. Ugh. Oh, man! Damn it! Okay, we're doing better. We're doing lots better. Oh, yeah! Take that! Eat that, you stupid night thingy! What's over here? What can I get? Oh, stuff over. This is easier because he's up on the stairs. Very good. Hopefully I'll be... Yep, yeah, you'll give me my level 200. Or my 200 experience to... Perfect! I'll take 200 experience and get that 200 experience. Uh, attack will go up. Very nice. So then magic will go up at 300. So it takes whatever the next level uh, experience point thingy is. So you're not always going to be leveling up the same stuff in... Well, it's always going to be the same order, but it's not going to be like life, attack, magic, life, attack, magic. It's like life, magic, life, attack, life, magic, magic, life, attack, my, like randomness like that. Go, oh, not another one. Go away. All right, what's next? What? Oh, it's the boss. Hmm, interesting. Um, I don't want to do this yet. I actually do not want to go and fight the boss yet at all because that will close up the dungeon, I think, and there are still items and everything in here that I need to find. So let me let me do some exploring, and uh, we'll, we'll see how this works out. Ah! See? You can kill them! I knew it! Even though my magic only goes up, but uh, it's still another level. It's still another level. Though I don't think I'm going to be able to hit uh, 400 beforehand, so... Oh no! Oh, Come on! Yeah! And I know what that thing is right in front of me. This is like an instant death pit, so... Run! Run, 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 which is about as fast as we're gonna go. I'm not gonna bother grabbing that because that would just be a waste of... Damn it! Damn it! <laughs> Jerks. Okay, so what does this place bring me to? What is over... Oh, it's another one of those... those chucker guys. Okay, I ran past it. Nice. Oh, damn it. Come on, go. Uh, Get away! Ah. Back, beast! Back, you foul beast! Back, I say! Ha! Ah. Ha! Ah. 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 Nice! What is over here? Oh, you! Come on! Go away! Oh, I hate you guys! Yeah! 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 Okay, good. Key down, and I get... A candle! So, the candle in this... All of the items that you see down there on the bottom of the screen, where the candle is... Um, those are like the items that Link will be collecting throughout his journey. So you're gonna get a candle, you're gonna get like a pair of boots, uh, a hammer, or a glove in order to lift things, things along that way. And they are all passive abilities. You actually don't use the candle at all. It automatically happens. Let's see if I can get it this time. I did! Go! Run! Yes! Oh man. I'm better at this game than I thought I was. Alright, let's head to the boss room. If I don't die, that would be awesome. Oh, gimme! Sweet. Um, so when you beat a boss, I think the boss gives you a certain amount of experience, and then when you place a crystal into the stone, you are automatically brought up to your next level up point. So if you are a few points away from leveling up after defeating a boss, you might as well go back and try to beat some guys. But here's the first boss, Horsehead! I think that's what his name is. I think his name literally is Horsehead. Ooh, get away from me. Yeah, ow. Yeah. Actually, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna cast a spell. We're gonna cast shield. No, I'm gonna cast shield. Cast shield. Cast shield? Can I not cast shield because I don't have enough magic? Okay. Probably a thing. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Or am I hitting the wrong button, which is also another possible thing. Yeah. Damn it, come on, Link. Ah. Gotcha. There we are. Ah, oh, there we go. Now we got a rhythm going. That's better. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, back up a little bit. Huh. Give myself some room to move here. Yeah. Yeah. I don't need no freaking shield. Eat my sword. Yeah. Eat it. Boom, shakalaka. I got 50 points of experience. That's crap. I'll be right back. There we go. Okay, life goes up. Isn't that wonderful and glorious and all that other good stuff? And now... I get to go and put the crystal 
into the statue, and then by doing that, click, it should level me up to the next level immediately. Now mind you, <laughs> whenever I play these games, whenever I play my Retro Rage Play, I always wonder what it is that I should put at the end of, uh, yep, attack definitely going up, see, it's worth it. What I should put at the end of these things in order for, like, you know, the, the end credits randomness and whatnot. What you saw there was a pretty quick cut between when I said I'll be right back to basically right there. Uh, there was quite a lot of time in between. I didn't didn't have the uh, the timer playing on it because I didn't count the grind as part of uh, the whole thing. But I guess it all should have probably went together with it all. I shouldn't have probably stopped the timer, but yeah. So I, I died, and then I had to go back through that entire thing again in order to get the experience points I needed, and that was a chore in its own right. So I'll probably throw some of those scenes at the end uh, of this episode. Anyway, look at this! See? Look at the candle! See what it does? It lights the way for us! So, that is uh, the purpose of the candle. It's a passive ability. All of those things down at the bottom are passive abilities. And Link will be able to use... Oh, crap! There are more towns in here than there are spells, but that's also because some of the towns give you the sword abilities, like the upward slash and the downward strike. This tunnel would be completely dark if you did not get the candle, so that is why they tell you make sure to get the candle beforehand. Bats! I hate bats! But they die in one hit, so I'm okay with that. Yeah! Oh, great. Red bats. You know what they turn into? Dragons. Ah! You jerk! Okay, that's fine. Go, go, go. Run, run, run. Okay, see, I need to use a spell. I want to use jump. Oh, I get it. Duh, okay. So, you set it in the beginning. I bet this is a... Oh, thank you! Thank you! Okay, so you set it wherever you want it to be, and then you come out of the menu, and then you hit the select button, and then I'm able to actually cast the spell, because you can see my magic is gone, and now I have super jump. Yeah! And I'm also healed, too. Alright, so now we have, like, a swamp land here, and Link moves so... So... Does not want... Crap, crap, duck! Oh man, the Octoroks are down here, and these bird things come, ow, and they take away my experience, which sucks. Uh, go, magic! Thank you, run away! I'm going this way, because I think there's a town over yonder, and I would like to go into town beforehand. Yes? No, just, just a way that I could have went should I have had the hammer, because the hammer would be able to get... Man. We'll be able to break those, like, rocks, and then I'll be able to get- No, no, no! Get into the castle! There we go. Not the castle, the, the thingy here. The cave. Yeah. As long as I have the candle, all caves are exposed with the light. Go oh, away. Alright, so what, what's at the end of here, then? Oh, money bag! Nice! Which, technically, it's not a money bag, it's like a, a point bag, but it's experience points, per se. And anything can drop bags like that, and they range anywhere from, like, 50 points to... Oh, there's a lot of them that have, like... I, the, the highest I've ever seen was 200, but I think they have 500 point ones, maybe even 1,000 point ones, depending on how high Link gets in terms of uh, his level. Oh, crap! That was bad! Oh, not this thing again! Go, go, go! Good oh, crap! Oh, this is, this is so much bad! Crap, this is still so much bad! No, 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 no! Oh. Oh. Damn it, Ganon! Alright, let's... Oh, there's a fairy! Go, go, go! Watch me run into the fairy now. Nope, it ran away. But that's okay. We're going over this way. And into dungeon number two. This is pretty cool, actually. I, again, don't ever remember making it this far. And this is only the second dungeon out of six. So, this is kind of exciting. Kind of, kind of entertaining. And, uh, we'll kind of go from there and see what it is that I find. Any, 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 oh, okay, more stuff. Oh my god, you jumped! You jumped! I don't like jumping stuff, host. Hey, ooh, I want that ability. Whoa! Jerk. <laughs> what the hell? Whoa. Oh boy. Ugh. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I don't have a key! No key and you took away experience from me, you stupid horse heads. That was crap. Uh, the jumping stuff, host. Ugh. Ugh. Whoa! Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, I guess he's not so bad if you know their pattern. And try not to have them hit you, that'd be wonderful as well. Oh, okay, good. 
<laughs> Open the damn door! No, 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 no! Get away from me, you jello mold piece of crap! Go, 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 go! Oh, drips. Uh, uh, what? More enemies? Ow! And you kill me? Oh. Whoop. Yeah. Oh, that's a big jump right there, isn't it? Come here, you little jello thingy. Let's go. Okay, so I'm on jump, so we're actually gonna use that. Whoop. Key. Whoop. Kill you before you kill me. Drip. Thank you. And whoop. And in we go. Oh no. Jumping Stalfos with these guys next to them. Gimme! Nope, that would be magic. Oh, you jerk. Are you serious? No one's giving me the experience. What the hell? Another jumping Stalfo anywhere? I, like, oh my god. This is a big room. Hi. And, oh my god! There's 50 points of. Okay, sure, magic will go up. Why not? And things are falling on me. To Tetra's room! Run, 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 run! Wow, that was that was something. Little little random bits of uh, danger in these dungeons. Uh, that was bad. Oh my god, you're red. Uh, that must mean you're stronger. Uh, and you're faster too. You're a lot better at blocking my sword than I am. Uh, uh, yeah, get yeah, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh crap! <laughs> and I died. And I died, died, did I died. And it brings me all the way back to here, to the castle. Um, saving the game would enable you to save whatever current stats you're on and everything, but I'm tired of this. I can't do this anymore, so... And because I had stopped the, the clock earlier in the play, this is actually not accurate. You gotta add about another 10 minutes to that of just random grinding and whatnot, so... Over an hour, here you go, Legend of Zelda 2, done, 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 sorry Zelda, but you screw you, whatever. So there you have it everyone, Zelda 2, The Adventures of Link, the sequel to the smash hit first Legend of Zelda, and what do we get? We get this. Is this game uh, bad overall? Yes and no, I mean, in its own right, it's a good game, it's an interesting game. But the sheer fact that they throw The Legend of Zelda on it and everything and try to pass it off like that makes it really out of the box different for most people and you know, the general Zelda, like, you know, fan base and whatnot. Um, if they had put any other name on this, Doki Doki Link or something like that, then everyone would be all happy with it. But because it tried to be a sequel to the first Zelda and it was completely different and downright unfair at some points, you get things where people are like, this game sucks, this is horrible, and quite frankly, it's friggin' annoying! Thank you all for watching, be sure to rate and comment down below, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you can get equipped with me, MetalBlade427. Have an idea for a Retro Rage play that I should go through? Have any other uh, ideas that you think I should play for this series? By all means, throw them down in the comments below, or send me a message on Twitter or whatever along that way. We still got some time ahead of us in Zelda month, so I am currently looking for a few other Zelda titles that would fit the bill of Ragey games, and there's actually two that come to mind that I can think of. But in order to find them and play them, it's going to be a little bit of a challenge. Anybody that knows Zelda game history and whatnot probably have the same two that come to mind. Seriously, the worst Zelda games ever. Actually, one of them even has Zelda as the main character that you play as. So there's a hint if you don't know what I'm talking about. So, um, yeah. As always, thank you all again. You have a good one. I'll catch you all later. Sorry, Hyrule. This hero has hung up his tunic. Oh my gosh, come on, die already! Go, 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 go! No, 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 no,